Okay, so what I have here for you guys today is an Acura ILX. It's a 2013 model. Um, this I borrowed from a friend. I don't own this vehicle. Um, but what's interesting about it is it does have the six-speed manual transmission um, on this in this model. So, and this is the 2.4 liter four-cylinder. Um, comes with 201 horsepower at 7,000 RPMs and about 170 pounds feet of torque. Um, so yeah, it's the it's a little bit higher end model because I know the the base model comes with a, I believe a 1.5 liter four cylinder. This is the K24 motor in there as well, which that K24 uh, is also in I believe the TSX of older models, um, Acura's TSX model, and um, it's been around for a little while. But good running motor, um, a nice little compact car. Um, I've gotten the privilege of being able to drive it around a little bit before making this video, and it's it's a pretty fun feeling car. It feels nice and light, and and it's pretty peppy too. It's got that 201 horsepower, so and it's high revving. It's you know K24. It's it's not as torquey, but it once you get get it up to the RPMs, it's it's nice and nice and powerful. We'll take a look at the inside here real quick. Um, four compact tarts, pretty roomy. I'm about six feet tall and I don't have the seat all the way back and it feels good for me. Um, all leather, black interior, nice looking, high quality, it feels like it's going to last for quite some time. It's got a nice little center console here, a little button that opens it up, decent size. Um, heated seats for both passenger and driver. Take a look at the back real quick. I did look and see this one has a fold down couple uh, cup holders, but no pass through on this one either. Um, but for a small car climbing in, like I said, I'm what six, feet, almost six feet tall. It's good room, and and I have this seat pretty far back for driving. Like that's comfortable for me up there, and my knees feel fine, so not bad. Let's take a look at the trunk space here. Yeah, this model has, this specific car has about 51,000 miles, so not a whole lot of miles, not driven a whole lot. Uh, that looks like, oh, so no pass through, but it looks like the seats, even better, fold forward. So that is a nice feature to have. Little release button right here, and I just found that out by looking right now. So that is, that is nice. I'm sure you can un de detach those seat belts to let it come all the way down, but that that is good for storage there. It can lay flat in the front. That's even better than a pass-through, so let's take a look here. Looks like the passenger seat is not motorized. It is just manual, which is okay, but yeah, look at that. That's a good size room for a small car. Get some good storage. I like that. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea about that. It is a good size trunk for a compact car. Um, as you can see, let's go ahead and start it up. Take a look at the motor. Like I said, this is the four cylinder. All my other Acuras that I've reviewed have been V6s. Most of them all J series, except for the legend that I just picked up. It's a C series, I believe. C32. All right. This doesn't have the gas shocks for the hood. That's okay. We got a little stand there, but it's a pretty nice looking engine here. Nice and clean. Quiet running too. I mean, it sounds nice and quiet. I mean, it's it's Acura, so it's supposed to be luxurious and um, quiet it is that k24 I don't know if you can see that from the camera but it's right there mark k24 z7 2.4 liter but yeah everything's kind of just smushed in here and as you can see from my last video I was talking about how the motor on my legend was mounted like this 
um, longitudinal or whatever you call it. This one is transverse. So that basically rotation spinning this way, wheels are spinning this way. You get better direct transfer of power from the, you know, through the transmission. You don't have to change directionals, change directions to get the, the motor or the wheels spinning. So, but yeah, that's what the motor looks like. Let's go ahead and take it out for a spin. Like I said, this one has 51,000 miles on it. Has no navigation. It does, though, have a backup camera. So you put it in reverse there. Nice little backup camera for backing up, not bad. Um, let's go ahead and take it out for a little drive, see how it goes. Transmission feels nice and tight and sh it, the the throws are pretty short too the gear ratios on this is a lot shorter than my acura tl and my legend and cl the other th th three cars that i have um they like i was driving it at 35 miles an hour in, in fourth gear it was like the rpms were a lot higher but uh let's see I'm just going 20 right now in second we're already at 3,000. Yeah, the, the gear ratios are a lot shorter, but it is a four-cylinder engine, so you gotta you gotta find that power um, where you can. Um, Two hundred and one horsepower, all the way up at seven thousand. That's red line, so you're getting your your horsepower right up to the max, the very top, and that's typical with the K20 K series motor. High revving. Um, Big four cylinders. I mean, 2.4 is a pretty big motor for a four cylinder. Um, but yeah, it, it sounds nice. It feels nice. The steering feels pretty tight too. It doesn't have those long, um, long steering ratio where you got to turn the wheel like a lot of other cars do. This feels nice and tight, and the steering it's just the steering feels nice. Um, it feels sporty. It still feels very sporty, and I like that. So, like I said, this. This car is very compact, so you notice like it feels light. It feels lighter than my TL does. But of course, my TL has that torque vectoring um, all-wheel drive, so man, that thing really pulls you through the corners quite nicely. So I like that. But yeah, this thing, it's comfortable. It feels good, it feels light. The motor feels powerful for, I mean, an Acura, luxury car i mean you're not going to be disappointed driving this um i'll have to look up what the curb weight is on this guy but uh we'll we'll take it around the corners up here and kind of get a feel for it maybe give it a little bit of gas you can kind of already hear that k series motor you give it a little bit of gas it's a little bit more noisy um than my tl is and this is kind of the same gen car as my TL is they, they came out with the ILX uh, uh, replacing the TSX so the well so they the, the my TL is actually the predecessor to the TLX so this would be actually um, the same uh, generation as like the TLX but they are coming out with that new TLX type s which is excited about I'm very excited about um, that will be interesting to see finally the type s coming back but yeah we'll give it a little bit of gas here see how it sounds you can definitely hear that K Sears motor it's a lot louder than some of the other uh, Acuras that I have um, it sounds nice though it's got a, it's definitely got that high revving motor so I, I like that it sounds good um, and it feels it feels peppy and powerful so uh, that's good too so if you need to get on the highway get a, get ahead of traffic get on get on the freeway you, you're not gonna have to be worried about it much at least based on the way I've driven this car it feels feels good but anyway so that's kind of the gist of this car 
I would definitely recommend one of these if you wanted something. It's better gas mileage too. It ranges, as you can see there, it says it's averaging about 27.4. And according to the driver, that is pretty accurate to what it does. It can even get high in, into the 30s. Um, and that that's that's based on, you know, just normal city to uh, highway driving. Um, so it, it, it's better gas mileage in my TL. My TL, I average on that TL about 20 miles to the gallon. Um, which is, I mean, to be expected with a V6, it's over 300 horsepower and all wheel drive. That doesn't help with uh, gas mileage either. Do you hear that? That sounds pretty good. I like that. Anyway, if you guys like this channel and you want to see more videos uh, keep coming, uh, press a like and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time. Thanks.